we'll come back to dipoles uh, uh, later on. Okay. Uh, that we will come up with a number and later. We're going to talk about bonds. We already have, of course, we know an ionic bond <coughs> exists only in the solid state. It does not exist in the gaseous state. In other words, one of the E's is going to be a non-metal, one of the E's, the other E is going to be a, um, a non-metal. But today, uh, what we want to talk about is um, really strange four sides. Only four sides. Just to per put it in perspective, a cube has six sides. A tetrahedron only has four sides. Over what we are calling electron configurations and a shape dimensional object, and you can see how it is uh, corresponds to uh, this uh, uh, picture we see on the, on the wall here. Another one, another one is just a tetrahedron. Uh, the uh, green spheres are the uh, say in the case of this of fluorine. We know it's about that I model. Uh, the the blue is a uh, a lone pair of electrons. By that I simply mean is uh, we have <coughs> an electron from hydrogen to it, but it has no odor. The odor goes away, which is a good thing. Uh, cations and anions. So that's the <coughs> what you say. Uh, I, I think you're what the configuration of the electrons. Two electrons. Uh, uh, one from the oxygen of the electrons is still <coughs> tetrahedral. So, uh, configuration of the electrons, tetrahedral, tetrahedral <coughs> shapes. And we can make a theory that embodies the reason for that. One of the things we know about halogens is that they're, they're extremely rich in electrons. Uh, they've got lots and lots of valence electrons. So, shape like this, uh, not shape, well, shape and tetrahedral configuration as they can possibly get. And that's all it's about. That's it. Read this as well as I. And um, the thing I wanted to focus on more than anything else was this very first bullet. Uh, she's got the, a nice, uh, uh, rendition of lone pair of electrons. Still tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. <coughs> the uh, the molecule. Actually, you know, that was a problem that kept uh, handled. So magnets have been known for a long time. But that was the problem, the solution to that problem was kept handled. It's a dipole. That's that little magnet there. Now, like that. If on the other hand you come in from this direction, with a minus and a plus, and this is going to go. Now, now it works. Okay, well, it's a real thing, a little piece of iron, perhaps. And um, and uh, we indicate the. If I did to, uh, the analogy to a magnet. All right. Well, let's look at. Uh, Let's look at another thing here, because it has an uh, uh, electron pair up there, uh, a long bit to it. Well, that go, that's at the plus end. Oh, well, this is easy. A model, because you can say, well, there's one pointed there, there, and there, and then one pointed up. So, maybe what's a model of one, anyway. There's a nonpolar uh, <coughs> molecule. These bonds here, these bonds have dipoles. The molecule has none. These, bo these bonds have that uh, concludes.